Hi, gals and guys. Today we're looking at lesson 3.7, and that is on page 199. So go ahead and get that out. Today we're talking about using a 10 to subtract. So it says, how does getting to 10 in subtraction help when finding differences? Well, we know that when we're working with tens in addition or subtraction, it's just they're easy to work with. They're a nice, even number, and for some reason, our brain really likes them. So we're talking about how to use 10 now in subtraction. We talked about how to make a 10 in addition. Do you remember when we, we had the smaller add end make a tent and help the other add end to become a 10? So we're going to do the same thing today, but with subtraction. So first off, for number one, all right, it says Deverin has 13 crayons. He gives three to Tyler. So he has 13 crayons. He gives three to Tyler. Okay. And then it says, how many crayons does Deverin have now? Well, if he had 13 and he gave three to Tyler, we hop down three, he has 10 left now. Okay. So 13 was my menu end, it's what I started with. I got rid of three of them, that's my subtrahend, okay? And my difference is 10. That's the difference between the two numbers. Now what we're going to do is continue on again. All right? Let's say Lucy has 17 crayons. Okay? And she gives 7 to Susie. How many crayons does Lucy have now? Well, she gives 7 away. So we're going to start at 17 and we're going to hop down 7. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. Obviously, she has 10 left. So this is the part she gave away. All right. What is our number sentence going to be for this? 17 subtract how many? 7 is equal to 10. So there's our difference. All right. So our subtrahend is 17. We got rid of 7, and our difference is 10. Let's look at our last one. If Jimmy has 12 crayons and he gives 2 to Billy, how many crayons does Jimmy have left? Okay. So again, we're going to start. He has 12 crayons. He's going to give 2. Okay, And he has 10 left. So, we're going to write 12, subtract, sorry, 12 subtract 2 equals 10. So, in each of these cases, we ended up with 10. Okay? And you might notice here that each of the one spot, we have a pattern where each of those are the same. So we've got a pattern here. We know that if our one spot in our menu end and our one spot in our subtrahend match, we're going to have a tens number. Go ahead and finish that page if you didn't. Okay, I'm now on page 200. I just turned the page over. And we're going to look at the model and draw. We have a little blue uh, monster guy here, a little alien looking guy. And it says, model and draw, you can subtract in steps to use a tens fact. So we're going to talk about those steps. The first thing we need to do is we're going to make a tent with our subtrahend, okay? 
our subter hen loves to go camping. And it's always going to be our subter hen. Our subter hen loves to go camping. Our minuend always wants to be a 10. So it's trying to figure out how it can become a 10 on its way to subtraction. Okay. So what we've done is we've tented this 6. Okay. So this is still 4 plus 2 is 6. Even though this is a subtraction problem, we're still breaking it apart into pieces. So 4 and 2 is 6. Now, if we take that 14 and we subtract 4, we're going to end up at 10. And then we need to subtract that 2. Okay. So if we have 14 and we subtract 4, like we did here, 1, 2, 3, 4, we end up at 10. And then when we subtract 2 more, we end up at 8. And if you look at this little cloud here, I'm actually going to erase that plus sign because I don't want it to confuse you. But just know that 4 and 2 is what we broke our 6 into. So we subtracted in steps. We took 14, subtract 4 is 10. And then we took that 10, subtract 2 is 8. Okay. So instead of just making 6 hops, we, we went to a 10 first. Because that makes it easy. Then 10, subtract 2, well, that's, that's really easy. I know that that's 8. So 14 subtract 6 is 8. Okay. Let's look here. We have 12 subtract 5. Now I'm going to put a tent under the subter hand. They already did that for you. And we broke that 5 into a 2 and a 3 because we know that if our 1s match here, we'll end up with a 10. Okay, so if we look at this, and I have 12 on the number line, and I've already used that 5, so I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to go 12, subtract 2. That's going to give me 10. And then 10, subtract 3. That's going to give me 7. So basically, we said 12, 12 subtract 2 equals 10. So now we're at 10. And we brought this 10 subtract 3 equals 7. So we broke it into steps. Okay. So we're looking at 10 subtract 3 equals 7. So that means 12 subtract 3 up here, 12 subtract 5, must also equal 7. If you're confused, it's okay. We're going to keep working with it. So here on number 2, we've tented our subtrahend. And we want to make sure that our ones are the same here and here because we know that will make this into a 10 when we subtract. So we're going to say 11 subtract 1 is what? 10. 10 subtract 5 is what? Five. Okay, so let's let let's write it out. Eleven, and we can use our, our number line up here too, or we can write it out. Eleven subtract one equals ten. That's what we did here. And then eleven subtract eleven subtract one equals ten. Then our ten subtract five equals what? Five. So this is what goes right in here. Okay. 
Okay. And then these two need to match. I'm going to get out the number line, the wipe off number line, because that's a little bit easier to, to work with. All right. And if you are an at-home learner and you would like a wipe off number line to use at home, just let me know. I have some. You can come and get one at my window. Here, we're going to look at 15 subtract 7. Okay, 15 subtract 7. Step 1, we need to tent the subtrahend. Okay, tent the subtrahend. Remember, that's our second number. That's going to set up a tent. Then we need to break apart our 7. And we need to break it apart so that this number, the 1s, and this number are going to match. So we want a 5 here. And 5 plus what is 7? 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7. Now we're ready to do our hopping on the number line. So I'm starting with 15. I'm going to hop down 5, and then I'm going to hop down 2. So I have 15. I'm going to hop down 5 right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. That puts me at 10, and then when I get to 10, I'm going to hop down 2. Okay. So where does that leave me? It leaves me at 8. So the tens fact that we used here is we used 10 subtract 2 equals 8. So notice that this number goes right into there. 15 subtract 5 is 10 goes right there. So 15 subtract 7 is also 8. These two must match. All right. Next one, we have 13 subtract 7. So step one, we're going to tent the subtrahend. We need to break apart this 7 so that one of the numbers matches this. Our ones are the same. Okay, 3 plus what is 7? 4. All right. So we're breaking that 7 into 3 and 4. Okay. Make sure your 1's match here. Now this is what you're going to do. I'm going to use a little bit of color. You're thinking 13 subtract 3 is 10. 13 subtract 3 is 10. Here's your 10. Then we have this 4 that goes right in here. Okay. And now I have 10 subtract 4 is 6. And I have 13 subtract 7 is also 6. So make sure these two match. Look for part two. It's going to be our next video. This is only part one on this lesson. If you're confused, don't worry. We're going to keep talking about it. So please meet me on part two of this video.